Let's talk a little bit about another game from T-Series of games from Board and Dice. What's up everybody? Welcome to the life of a board gamer. My name is Daniel and today we are going to talk about Terracotta Army. It is another game in a T-Series of games from Board and Dice and this one revolves around craftsmen who are making a Terracotta Army statues and whoever is the best craftsman, craftsman by the end of the game will be proclaimed the winner and the best craftsman, of course. So yeah, in this game you have this like a wheel it's basically three wheels and two of them rotate in uh, clockwise and counterclockwise orientation and once they rotate they will change uh, there is actions on them that you will be taking throughout the game you will put your craftsman and uh, depending where you put him you will take three actions in that row from top to bottom and since those dials do rotate so a combination of actions will change throughout the game and it's a mechanic i absolutely enjoy i think it's wonderfully done just because you can even pay like to move some dials extra spaces and all that but uh, you're really trying like to set them up for yourself you know because of course other players can mess up with you they can also pay to like rotate them and then you are one rotation away from what you really wanted and you can't ret rotate it back now you have to wait full circle which would be insane so you have to like adjust your strategy and i really enjoy that because you really want to see like what you want to do this turn do i want to put like more soldiers in there in the tomb do i want to build more soldiers to like for the scoring options or do i want to equip myself with resources and everything so i can then maybe in the next turn do awesome stuff because i'm like jam-packed with resources i have all these tokens that will help me out with some special abilities i can do some special things all kinds of different stuff it's just wonderful and everything basically revolves around that of course there is like a big thing in the game is the tomb itself where you will be building these terracotta army soldiers that's where most of your points will come from and you really want to like be careful how you put uh, those guys over there because if you clump up if you put together the same type of miniatures there's four different types of miniatures if you put same type of miniatures together you will score more points but you have to have the most you know of those miniatures to be able to score the points like the best points and uh, you really like want to be careful because you don't want to help others to score more because you put your miniatures next to them but you can always like try maybe to trick them to think that oh, okay so i don't know what to do you know stuff like that and then you can like uh, prepare for the next turn get lots of resources and then put even more miniatures over there and then you have the majority now you score the points now they have to fight for it now you are just reaping the rewards and all that so yeah those two things are really really nicely connected and i enjoy them in this game like i don't know i really really like when you have these uh, like uh, action selection when you can change what actions will uh, connect to each other so you can like rotate those dials and get like a bunch of coins or you can get a bunch of these uh, bricks that you need for building those guys it, it is just wonderful wonderful game wonderfully done definitely if you like euro games that are a little bit conflict there is a little bit of conflict when you're as i said when you are building these terracotta army soldiers there is a little bit conflict there so but if you like Euro games with just a little tiny bit of conflict, definitely check out Terracotta Army because I think it's a wonderfully done game. I just, I don't know, I enjoyed every little bit of it. And there's also, of course, I forgot completely to mention, there's also like a neutral Terracotta Army uh, guys uh, that you know, nobody can claim, but you can put them over there to like score you extra, to score you double points. Or you can put them uh, by the horse, so now you're... Uh, your miniature that you built you know your terracotta army guy is now with the horse so he covers three spaces so that way you can maybe because if this column or this row is scored and uh, he is covered by that because he's like three spaces long not just one then you will score in that he will count for the scoring it, it's just mind-blowing how a lot lot of strategy is in there just turning those dials figuring what is the best position now for you for this turn or for next turn to, to prepare yourself? I don't know how to tell you how great this game is. I really, really enjoyed Terracotta Army. I hope you will check it out because I really think it's worth checking out. It's such a wonderful game. Definitely check out Terracotta Army. Great, great job. 
and uh, yeah that is that thank you all for watching thank you for subscribing thank you for spending time with me uh, that is all I have to say about it do join me next time when we are going to do I don't know something else don't know what what maybe we'll compare some games maybe we'll review something do gameplay video we haven't done those in a while who knows and uh, yeah until next time positive uh, uh, when i'm when i'm confident i can review uh, confident you are confident in what and this one is about building terracotta army about uh doing about what <laughs> What's up everybody? Welcome to the life of a board gamer. What's up everybody? Welcome to the life of what a bit This one is not Rondel mechanic actually. I, I'm like gibbering, saying gibberish probably, but and I need to completely film this video from the beginning.